Karen, do we have to do all of this right now? I thought we wanted to get married. Yeah, I meant sorting out all this stuff, you know, invitations. Well, we have to decide on what napkins to use, which matchbooks and, and flowers. And I've got a list of about 42 things to do before we're done. Can't it wait a little bit? No, it cannot. We have to do it today or it won't be back before the wedding. <laughs> I never thought marriage would be so... complicated. Pal, this is only the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Oh, don't mind me, kids. I'm getting used to it by now. Good. Did you get everything picked out yet? No, we've hardly... Where's my... Where's my list? Mom, what don't you think we could invite Abby? Abby? <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, this is a time to celebrate, you know, heal all the old wounds. Mom, I'd be hooked up to a dialysis machine if she hadn't given me her kidney, you know. I can't invite her. Val's gonna be the matron of honor, and, I, and it'll be just too awkward. I'm sorry, she just can't come. It's up to you, Mother. Sorry. All right. Have fun. Now I've been thinking. Uh-oh. Maybe we should get married in a church instead of a restaurant. But but we've already decided on Daniel. It's my first marriage. I think we should do it right. Oh, darling, sweetheart. <laughs> I want you to be happy, but the invitations are already out. Well, okay. And Richard would be very disappointed. Okay. Besides, to Richard, his restaurant is like a church, so it'd be almost the same thing. Almost. Everything before she gets here. Yeah, okay. Mac, come here for a minute. Um, what do you think of this style matchbook? Okay. Boy, you got good eyes. What? Matchbook. Matchbook? Yeah. Our names can be engraved here at the top and right here at the bottom. Karen, why do we need matchbooks? Well, you wanted a big wedding. It's, it's kind of a nice touch. Matchbooks? Hardly any of your friends smoke anymore. It's just a memento of the day, a souvenir. Well, let's set up a booth. Souvenirs, matchbooks, little bow ties for the gentlemen, huh? corsages for the ladies. What do you think? Oh, no, they sent the wrong sizes. They look like those guys who announced the Friday night fights. Oh. And in this corner, the lightweight, Eric Fairgate. I feel like a robot. <laughs> Switch them. We did. They still don't fit. Well, we don't have to wear these, Mac, do we? No, of course not. Of course they do. You wanted a big wedding? This is what they wear at big weddings. <laughs> look at him. He looks paralyzed. This guy looks like a drummer. Guys, go upstairs, take them off before you mess them up. I'll return them and get a size that fits. I'll return them. No, I'll take them I'll back. I'll take them back. Look, I, I don't see why we have to get dressed to go to a wedding anyway. Don't even say it. Oh. I need that, but I need help moving. Yeah. We don't really need salt. Okay. All right. Excuse me. I, I don't know how we can right rehearse without Val and Jeff and, and Ken and Ginger. And where's Diana? Well, you know her. She's always late. Oh, well, we can get this over with. Let the boys uh, stand in. Come on. Oh, well, but that's a good idea. Eric, you stand in for Val, and Eric? Michael, you stand in for Michael. Diana. Mom. Mom. No way. I'm not standing in for nobody. I'm the head usher. Let somebody else do it. Why don't you stand in? I'm not going to stand in for nobody. I'm the head usher. So be the head usher, then. I will when we rehearse. Come on, you get up there and stand no in for the way. girl. Come on. No way. I'm not I got 40 white tablecloths. Wait, they go? quiet! Quiet. We, we got to organize this wedding. Well, let's get look, well, I'm, look, can we get things going here? Well, we're trying to. Because, I mean, I closed down the restaurant to accommodate this rehearsal. Just tell Richard, us Richard, you did not. What are you talking about? Did it to show off in front of Abby. What a thing to say. You know how much money I'm losing this afternoon? I mean, do I don't mind losing me, the money, but, but nothing is going on here. Move I mean, on. you kids are sitting here like a couple of loxes. I'm the one moving all the chairs. Could you right, move some chairs? Or... Nobody's moving go. anything. We'd like to get married. <laughs> Did you get the license? Oh, yes. Well, we are prepared. Uh, Mr. McKenzie? Yes, ma'am. Miss Fairgate. Mrs. Fairgate. <laughs> uh, which ceremony did you want? How many are there? Religious and non-denominational. Non-denom... Good. We have two wedding plans. The deluxe ceremony, which includes the ritual, rice, recorded wedding march, and our special wedding gifts. Or the super deluxe ceremony, which includes the ritual, rice, someone to throw the rice and confetti, live organist, a complimentary photograph, and our special wedding gifts. 
I know, man. I can't. Oh, it's just. This is my first marriage, remember? It's just, this place is so ridiculous. And look at us. I mean. Hey, 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 hey. You look beautiful. Well, you should have worn your blue suit and your brown suit. No, no. See, you're wearing the dress. We're getting married, and I'm wearing the tuxedo. That's it. With brown shoes? If any of you here present know any cause or just impediment why these two should not be joined in matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. It's okay. There's nobody here with the reason. <coughs> Maybe they call someone in, you know, to speak now. Karen. <laughs> Karen. Uh, uh, do you, Karen Fairgate, take this man, M. Patrick McKenzie, as your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish according to the laws of Clark County and the state of Nevada, till death do you part? I do. Do. Uh, do you, M. Patrick McKenzie, uh, take this woman, Karen Fairgate? I do. I do. Absolutely. Uh, then by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> <laughs> Gladys. Karen. I love you, Mac. Karen, I love you.